Good morning, you guys. This is Mary, and I'm back out here on the east side of the prop of my property, Food Forest. And you guys, this is uh, where me and my husband enjoy being out. We just put this fire pit. We enjoyed um, just burning some biochar. We enjoyed sitting there doing marshmallows. We can listen to the water in the um, in the fountain there and everywhere you guys I have seating areas where I can sit down when I get tired because we have a lot everyone that do gardening they know that it's a lot in it but it's so rewarding as um, we were sharing with Lady Cheryl and in the food forest I wanted to share my newly um, citrus tree which is a merit a page meriden um meriden i can't get that word out good but that's newly on the food in the food forest and over here is my little catch-all area um i have some tomatoes inside there i have um i have an apple tree up in here a newly um, that I cut um, did a cutting of and I'm gonna see if it propagate I did that this um, spring and right here we have a um, poke I won't let you guys see the name tag of Pogan Meriden another um, silters tree that I newly um, added to this side the east side of the um, food forest Okay, and over here we have a sweet grapefruit and look like um, a cocoon is on the top of it. But you can see the fruit set here. They have fruited, they flower. Oh, you guys, and you talking about the fragrance. It smells so like better than perfume. And it's doing really good we have a lot of fruit set on that so we're gonna see how that well that does okay and you know of the greenhouse where i start a lot of my seeds during the um during the spring because now it's just so hot to do anything but this is what we have over here and i have another silter street this is where i mainly do a uh, majority of my um, ice potatoes, um, red potatoes in this area. You see down this row, which I've gone to see, I have some, um, all these mustard greens here. And I'm telling you, those mustard greens were so delicious. And um, maybe I still can harvest some but they did really well up in here. And then I got some flowers. This is cilantro right here that's going to seed. And um, I have um, dehydrated some of those that's in here. Um, I, right there, I have a plum tree and you see my neighbor's um, chickens right there. And let me see what else we have on this east side because I got to go back around the other way. I have some propagation that I'm doing down here um, from those um, old fashioned plum trees they have taken that I um, put here during the fall and they are doing really well, ready to go to somebody home. And this is a Mar lemon over here, which has fruit on it. Let me see if you guys can see and I was able to taste one and they were delicious. Right up in here. And there's some more seed ones that I, um, which was a silters tree. And you guys, I only thing I did was stuff them in these two large containers here. And they have propagated. Um, so we have um, some more citrus trees down there. I think it's probably about 15 to 20 citrus trees that have taken 
that I uh, started during the fall. So fall is a great time to propagate your seed because with that cold stratification, so you could go ahead and put those seeds in the soil and um, it won't propagate. I'm gonna say it won't start coming up until it's um, springtime. So you guys, this is what we have on the east side of my food forest. And everywhere you sit, there's um, some strawberries that I have planted in here. We can sit here and eat strawberries. And those right there are some flowers, some, um, some, some lilies that I have right there that is doing really well. Hopefully we will see some um, blooms on those pretty soon. That flock just looks so pretty in the inside. And also you guys, I have down this row on the east side here is a pomegranate, which we do have seeds. I mean, we do have flowers that's coming up. I don't know if you guys can see that, but there is flowers right there. Right here, we have some um, raspberry, blueberry, raspberries. There's another um, J um, Japanese plum that has gone to seed. There's another blueberry. Here is a newly planted this spring, a um, cherry, a sweet cherry that's doing really good. And right here we have a hickory um, hazelnut, which I love hazelnut cream in my coffee. So hopefully in the years to come that it would do well here. There's a red maple and blueberry. And here's another citrus tree. That is so beautiful. Look at that foliage, you guys. But I just planted this one on yesterday, and it is a blood orange in the food forest over here. We got some onions on both sides in these containers right here. And over here, you guys, we have a Asian pear. And this is newly planted um, this spring. We have another citrus tree from seed, which is just flowered and have not fruited. There's another citrus tree from seed. Um, I don't know which one it is, but um, it's doing really well. Um, here is the old fashioned pear tree, which my brother-in-law gave to me. And I thought about the new style that they had. I said, it's already trained to be, if it was up against something that it would do well. You see my watering can. We are in need of some water, but hopefully it will rain this weekend. Here's another Georgia um, peach that um, has flowered, and it had, uh, I'm gonna say it's flowered, but the cold snap got it. So hopefully next year I get some peaches out of it. And here is another Sam Houston peach tree. So you guys, this is what we have going, going on on the east side of the homestead here. So I want to share quickly. So I hope you guys have a great weekend and we will talk to you guys soon. Today is April the 29th, um, 2022. So I hope you guys have an, a blessed day. And we will talk to you soon. And if you like the content, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Oh, you guys, and there is a pe pecan tree. And I love this oak because it's canopy. The shade, I'm going to give us plenty of nice shade. I love those trees. Awesome. Okay, so we'll talk to you guys soon. Be blessed. Bye.